Hello students, I welcome you all once again to the e-learning sessions of automobile engineering. Myself Hardik Shah and during this lecture series, we will discuss some interesting topics in the subject of automotive electricals and electronics. Okay, we have already started a new chapter, fine. In previous session, we have discussed about the warning buzzers and different systems. Okay, so in next lecture, in today's video, we will discuss about the working of speedometers and different types of speedometers. Okay, I hope you will see this video till the end to completely understand this topic and gain your skills in automobile engineering. I also request you to note down any queries which arises during the lecture and ask me in comment section. I will try to solve all the queries as soon as possible. So now let's start our today's video. Of all the instruments you can find on a modern car dashboard, only one is actually legally required that is speedometer and built-in odometer. Okay. So in common with other developments in car technology, the trend is now towards using the electronics in the speedometers. But most cars even ones being built today have a mechanical speedometer usually with a needle and a calibrated dial to show the speed. Okay, it is mounted on the dashboard. So the design of this type of speedometer has hardly changed in over 50 to 20 years. Okay, but basically there are two main types of the speedometers which are right now coming in a car. One is mechanical speedometer. Second is electronic speedometer. Okay, so let's discuss both of them one by one. First is mechanical speedometer. So what is that? Mechanical speedometers actually measures the speed of the car by being linked mechanically with the gearbox output shaft. Okay, since this shaft lies downstream of the new gearbox, the speed with which it rotates is independent of the gear changes. So it gives a true measurement of the road speed of your vehicle. Okay, now inside the gearbox, the output shaft contains a gear wheel which rotates with the shaft and it is linked to this gear wheel and driven by it is a small pinion here, the speedometer shoe pinion. Okay, so which links in turn to the speedometer cable that runs up to the speedometer itself. Okay, so this is the linkage how the speedometer works. Now the speedometer cable consists of the inner cable running inside the protective outer shell. Okay, now the end of the speedometer inner cable are squared off and it is fit into the square hole of the drive pinion at the gearbox end. Okay, and the drive in a back of the speedometer. So it is connected with a single cable. Now as the pinion rotates, the driven by the gearbox output shaft, it causes the inner cable to rotate with it. So the other end of the cable fits in the driver shaft leading into the speedometer. So on the end of this shaft is a magnet. Now positioned close to the magnet is a cup shaped metal drum, which is attached to the needle and giving the reading on the dial. Now a small coiled hair spring holds the needle at zero. Okay. And when the car moves, it will now give the angled vibrations. Now the drum is attracted by the magnet. So as the magnet turns, the drum turns to. So the faster the car is traveling, the greater the pull of the magnet on the metal drum and the further the needle will move around the dial. But the restriction forces of the hair spring also increases as the needle moves around the dial. So at the certain point of the force of the spring and the magnetic balance out, the needle steadies to give the perfect reading. Okay, so between them, it will give us the reading. Now different variations are also uh, coming in, sir, inside the speedometers. So the two other common types of the mechanical speedometers give the reading by a bar or a mark moving along the straight calibrated scale. So what is that? Now both are actually roughly similar in operation to the round dial type of the speedometer. A cable driven by the gearbox output shaft turns a magnet which causes some sort of indicator to move against the force of the restraining hair spring. Now what is happening in the types? So in one type, the indicator consists of the moving ribbon attached to the each end of the spool. Now the magnet causes the ribbon to reel off one spool to the another against the force of the hair spring. 
Now, as the ribbon moves, a mark on it lines up with the calibrated scale to give the reading. Okay. Now, in other type, what is happening? In other type of the indicator using the straight scale rather than the dial. It has a, a barrel marked with a line. Okay. So, the magnet causes the barrel to rotate until stopped by the hair spring. Again, as the barrel moves, the mark on it lines up with the scale to indicate its speed. Okay. Now, on both of this type of the speedometers, the ribbon or you can say barrel is usually a different color on each side of the marker line to make the speed easier for the driver to read. Okay. So, this was all about the mechanical speedometer. Next is electronic speedometer. How it works? So, in common, with the trend towards the electronic dashboard instruments, electronic speedometers are now becoming much more popular even though mechanical speedometers are generally reliable also. Okay. But electronics are now taking its place. So, the most common type has a magnet attached to the gearbox output shaft and an electronic unit positioned close by the act as a pickup. Now, every time the rotating magnet passes the pickup unit, the unit sends a pulse of the electric current down a wire to the speedometer. Okay. So, an electronic black box inside the speedometers uses these impulses to calculate the speed of the car. Okay. So, electronic speedometers work in a completely different way. Fine. Now, small magnets are actually attached to the car's rotating drive shaft. Okay which sweeps past tiny magnetic sensors. So, either they are read switches or you can say hall effect sensors. Okay. We will discuss it in later. Now, it is positioned nearby it. Okay. So, each time the magnets passes the sensor, they generate a brief pulse of the electric current. Now, an electric current counts how quickly the pulses are arriving. Okay. And converts this into the speed displayed electronically on the LCD display. Okay. So, since the circuit is measuring the number of wheels rotation, it can also keep a count of how far you have traveled. So, it will doubling up as an odometer, which is actually distance measuring meter. Okay. It is myelometer also. So, electronic speedometers can also display the speeds with analog pointers and dials just like traditional eddy current speedometers. Okay. Now, in that case, the electronic circuit drives a highly controllable electronic model or you can say a controllable electric motor okay which is called separate motor now that rotates the pointer through the appropriate angle now the electronic speedometers are more reliable and compact than the mechanical ones and the motion sensors can be any distance from the display that shows you your speed okay so making them suitable for any kind of vehicle from a bicycle to the 40 ton trucks everywhere the working is actually similar. Okay. Now, how accurate these speedometers are? That is the main question. So, speedometers can never be perfectly accurate. Okay. Because it is showing average speed, not instant speed. Okay. So, for example, the measured speed is bound to change slightly from the true road speed if the tires are not as per the specification and below the tire pressure. Okay. Uh, uh, also, it defects by the tire wear down. Okay. So, for safety reasons, the law requires speedometers to be accurate within the range of the speed. Okay. Not perfect speed, range of the speed. So, it must read no slower than the actual road speed of the car and it is allowed to give the speeds of 10% higher. You can say uh, almost 4 kilometers per hour higher than the uh, required one. Okay. Now, it is actually included because 10% error at every slow speeds would mean that the speedometer would have been accurate too. Okay. And which is actually not practical. So, we need to give the uh, speed range also. Okay. So, this was about the speedometers. Let's summarize this topic. So, how speedometers works. So, let's discuss it point by point. So, first when the engine turns over, the drive shaft turns to make the wheels spin around. That was the first step. Second, the speedometer's cable powered by the drive shaft turns as well. Okay. Thereafter, the cable spins a magnet around the same speed inside the speed of the cup, inside the speed cup. So, the magnet rotates continuously in the same direction. Okay. This was then happening. Thereafter, the spinning magnets creates 
एडिक करंट इन दैट स्पीड कप देर आफ्टर दिस एडिक करंट मेक द स्पीड कप रोटेटिंग काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज एज वेल एज इन एन अटेम्प्ट टू कैच अप विद द मैग्नेट ऑल्सो ओके नाउ रिमेंबर दैट द मैग्नेट एंड द स्पीड कप आर नॉट ज्वाइन टूगेदर ओके इन एनी वे देर इज एन एयर बिटवीन दैम ओके सो दे विल मूव फ्रीली देर आफ्टर द हेयर स्प्रिंग टाइटन्स रिस्ट्रेनिंग और यू कैन से रिस्ट्रेटिंग द स्पीड कप सो इट कैन टर्न ओनली अ लिटल वे ओके इट विज नॉट रोटेड वेरी फास्ट नाउ सेवेंथ एज द स्पीड कप टर्न it turns the pointer dial okay and it will indicate the speed on the speedometer okay so this was all about the speedometers in next session we will discuss about the odometers so that's it in today's video i wish you got the clear idea about the speedometers and its working okay therefore if you have any more to know and or uh, you have any query please let me know i will try to respond as soon as possible okay in the next session we will discuss about the odometers in detail i hope you like this video thank you so much stay tuned goodbye